Hi, I'm Laura Walker and I'm here today to talk to you about how we can use hybrid learning to enable hybrid working. Now, I'm a practitioner, I've worked in six different business industries, usually heading up learning and development and talent management. But I'm also a researcher and I'm passionate about evidence and insight. So today I'm going to bring you five key insights that we all need to know to make the most of hybrid learning for our own organisations. But before we get into that, let's talk about what hybrid learning is. So there's been lots of talk about what hybrid working is, and obviously we're still trying to figure out exactly what that means. But hybrid learning, in a way, is just the other side of the same coin. So hybrid working needs hybrid learning and vice versa. So done well, hybrid learning can be inclusive, it can make learning more accessible, it can make it more productive and impactful, can be more engaging, can also help to build connections beyond those that would otherwise be possible. But obviously that doesn't come easily and it's a new way of working for us. So what is it that we really need to know about hybrid learning in order to unlock its potential? Now there is loads that I could share with you about hybrid learning, but for the purposes of today, I've got five key insights to share with you that we all need to know in our organisations. The first insight relates quite directly to hybrid working. So we know that teams are having to develop and introduce new rituals, new ways of working, new routines for how they work together around meetings, how they collaborate, how they socialise, how they celebrate, how they remain creative and bring those ideas to the fore. So hybrid learning needs to respond and support those new ways of working and obviously be even more agile and evolve with them. So we need to be really in touch with how the teams are working and make sure that the learning fits in the flow of the work and the timing is supportive of, of the, being able, able to apply the learning in real time. The second insight relates to learner readiness. So boosting learner readiness is even more important in a hybrid context than it would be generally. We know that learners need to be ready, willing and able to learn in any context, but hybrid does bring some particular challenges. So we've all seen some of the research, I'm sure, about the impact of digital fatigue and how 40 plus percent people are suffering from it and the impact of isolation and the need for belonging that is regrowing. Now, we're not just talking about working at home with hybrid, of course, we're talking about a whole blend of issues. So we need to pay more attention and be more nuanced about what we do around learner readiness. In particular, we need to pay attention to having a safe space to learn. So we know that learners obviously work best when they feel safe, but also have the support of others. So how we build connection, but in a meaningful way so that learners can learn best in that team or that social supportive environment. We also need to be creative about how we avoid the digital fatigue, so not assume it's digital only. So be a bit more creative about how we blend and mix the learning together in service of learner readiness. The third insight relates to how we design hybrid learning. Now, hybrid learning is not bolting together face-to-face -to -face learning and digital learning. Hybrid learning is hybrid by design and it needs to be evidence-based so what works best so making the very most of the evidence that we have available to us about what works what is a great experience what is efficient and scalable um, we need all of that insight and we need to make sure that learning is really exciting and engaging and helps people to embed and have the impact that we need so hybrid learning needs to be hybrid by design. The fourth insight relates to career development. So I know learning is often quite tactical and quite in the moment around what do we need to learn right now. But in the world of hybrid learning, career development could be your hidden gem. So hybrid 
itself can be a risk for careers, as we've heard about in some of the research, where some people are being sidelined potentially, or believe they are, because they are taking a more hybrid approach rather than returning to the office. But also it can open up opportunities. So hybrid learning done well can be much more accessible. It can open up people's networks beyond what they could have imagined before. So if you can pay attention to career development and that longer developmental journey, not just the short term imperatives, um, then you can really unlock something around the engagement and commitment of the people within your organisation. Because we know that career development and being able to use your skills is the heart of engagement, generally the number one driver of engagement. And the fifth insight relates to how we need role models for hybrid learning. So we know when we're, anytime we're bringing about a cultural shift in an organisation, leaders are key, and also the people function are key, and L&D people are key. But we also know that it's not what they say, it's what they do. So if you can pay as much attention as possible to equipping role models in your organisation, so leaders who actually embrace hybrid learning as opposed to say that they do and also make sure that our teams are ready themselves so they have the skills the capabilities the knowledge the confidence to work in this way but also to encourage the conversations that they need to have in the wider organization to lead the way but lead the way as role models not just as espousers of this new way of working Hybrid working looks set to stay in some form or another, it's still developing and evolving. And hybrid learning seems to be the key to enabling teams to work together in this new way, but also how to get learning into the flow of work and ways of working that are shifting so fundamentally. But also hybrid learning in its own right makes sense to me. So around making informed choices about how we make the best use of the time, the skills, the opportunity, how we make learning as engaging and relevant as possible, how we make good investment choices based on evidence, how we make the most of the technologies that are now available to us. So from my perspective, I think this is a great time to be in learning and development if we can embrace hybrid learning but also work out what that means, what the risks are and how we can work together as a function to take the next step.